these have already been discussed. There are one, the appearance of knowing. This knowing refers to worldly knowledge and skill in debate. It includes science, technology, and all kinds of professions. Because you have produced false knowledge and views, you give rise to the appearance of knowing. This falseness continues to arise without a respite and brings about the second of the six causal appearances. 2. The appearance of continuity. It never stops. The appearance of knowing is the second knot, and the appearance of continuity is the third knot. 3. The appearance of grasping. Do you give rise to attachments? 4. The appearance of assigning names. 5. The appearance of the production of karma. 6. The appearance of karmic bound suffering. These four represent the last three knots. Sutra, it is just like strange flowers appearing when your eyes grow weary of staring. They arise at random without any cause within the tranquil essential brightness. Commentary, it is just like strange flowers appearing when your eyes grow weary of staring. This is like the passage early in the sutra. He stares into emptiness and after a long time gets weary. When he gets weary, he sees strange flowers in emptiness. So, to hear, they arise at random without any cause within the tranquil essential brightness. For no reason at all, they appear haphazardly in the nature of the treasury of the first Kamwan. Sutra, everything in the world, the mountains, the rivers, and the great earth, as well as birth, death, and nirvana, is all just a strange weariness, the upside-down appearance of flowers. Commentary, it is not only the three subtle and six cause appearances that arise because the eyes grow weary from long staring, so that they begin to see the appearance of flowers in emptiness. Everything in the world, the empty universe, that is not just one world, our world, but all worlds without empty space and the domarium, the mountains, the rivers, and the great earth, as well as birth, death, and nirvana, is all just a strange weariness. They all exist because the eyes, as it were, have stared for a long time and become weary. They all come about through the same kind of circumstances as the eyes staring. They are the upside-down appearance of flowers. Originally, they, there were no flowers in space. All these things are like the upside-down appearance of flowers. So the Buddha's principle here is, do you know where everything in the world came from? Everything arises from living beings' ignorance. That one unenlightened thought produces the three subtle appearances. Experiencing states becomes the conditions from which these cause appearances arise. Sutra Ananda said, this weariness is the same as the knots. How do we untie them? Commentary. Having heard the Buddha's explanation, Ananda said, this weariness is the same as the knots. This fatigue which comes from over this exertion, over exertion, is the same as the knots. How do we untie them? How do we get rid of them? How can we make them go away so that we can run we, we can return to our original phase? How can we get back to our inherent nature of the treasury of the first common? Sutra, the first common took hold of the knotted cloth and pulled on its left and and asked Ananda, Is this the way to untie it? No, word or not one. Then, with his hand, he pulled on the right end and again asked Ananda, Is this the way to untie it? No, won't or not one. Commentary, the first common uses an analogy to cause Ananda to understand for himself how to untie the knots which are identical with the, the weariness that comes from over-exertion. The first common, the first common, 
took hold of the knotted cloth and pulled on its left end. He took up the jeweled, embroidered cloth which he had knotted and pulled its end to the left. At the same time, he asked Ananda, Is this the way to untie it? Is this how you get it undone? Ananda answered, No, won't honored one. Then with his hand, he pulled on the right end and again asked Ananda, Is this the way to untie it? Can I get the knots undone this way? Have the knots loosened now? No, won't honored one. They haven't come loose. If you just pull on them, they won't come untied. Ananda replied, Sutra. The Buddha said to Ananda, Now I have pulled on the left and right ends of the cloth and still have not been able to undo the knots. What method do you propose for untying them? Ananda said to the Buddha, Won't honored one, you must untie the knots from their center, then they will come undone. Commentary. Ananda is so intelligent. The Buddha couldn't do it, but Ananda thought of a way. The Buddha said to Ananda, Now I have pulled on the left and right ends of the cloth and still have not been able to undo the knots. I haven't untied even one of the knots. I can't do it. What method do you propose for untying them? You think of a way. Use some clever expedient. How can we get them undone? You're very smart, Ananda. You will certainly come up with your method. Ananda said to the Buddha, Won't honored one, you must untie the knots from their center, then they will come undone. If you just pull to the left or to the right, you can't get them undone. What you have to do is work on the heart of the knot. Once you loosen that, the knot will come undone. Sutra, the Buddha said to Ananda, so it is, so it is. If you want to get them undone, you have to untie them from the center. Commentary. The Buddha's reply is, You are truly intelligent, Ananda. And you, so it is, so it is. That's what you do. You figured it out. I couldn't think of how to do it, and you came up with this wonderful method. He expresses his approval. Right, correct, now I understand. If you want to get them undone, you have to untie them from the center. So you aren't just well educated, you are fundamentally intelligent. Sutra Ananda, the Buddha Dharma are explained arises from causes and conditions. But that is not to grasp at the mixing and uniting the cause appearances in the world. The first come one understands all worldly and world transcending dramas and knows their fundamental causes that and what conditions bring them into being. Commentary Ananda, the Buddha drama I explain arises from causes and conditions. But that is not to grasp at the mixing and uniting of cause appearances in the world. It's not that I'm referring to the cause appearances that anyone can see. I, the first common understands all worldly and world transcending dramas. World dramas refers to the defined and defined dramas and in the six common realms of rebirth. World transcending dramas refers to the pure dramas found in the four sagely drama realms. I know their fundamental causes and what conditions bring them into being. I know the basic source of these dramas and how they are caught with conditions. Sutra, this is so to the extent that I know how many drops a brain fall in as many walls away from here as there are dust most in the Ganges. The same is true for all the things you can see. Why the pine is straight, why the brambles are twisted, why the goose are white, why the crow is black, I understand the reasons. Commentary, this is so. I know that what conditions bring things about to the extent that I know how many drops of rain fall in as many walls away from here as there are dust most in the Ganges. I know what the conditions are in walls infinitely far away and in all the walls in between. There's nothing in this world 
that I do not comprehend, and even in once the vast distances beyond this world, I know exactly how much rain has fallen. The Varasutra says. The first common completely knows and sees all the thoughts in the minds of all living beings. It doesn't matter whether the beings are human or not. Whatever thoughts go on in the minds are known to the Buddha. The same is true for all the things you can see. You can't see things in as many worlds away from here as there are sand grains in the Ganges. But as to the things that are right now before your very eyes. Why the pine is straight? Why the brambles are twisted? Why the goose are white? Why the crow is black? I understand the reasons. Sutra. Therefore, Ananda, you can select whichever one of the six sense organs you wish. If the knots of the sense organs are removed, then the defiling appearances disappear of themselves. All falseness ceases to be. If that is not the truth, what do you expect in addition to it? Commentary. Therefore, because of the Buddha's total comprehension, as he has just explained, Ananda, you can select whichever one of the six sense organs you wish. You yourself can choose whichever sense organ you prefer. Do you remember how I explained the various merits of the sense organs to you? How some have all twelve hundred merits and some do not. Based on that, you can pick whichever one you want. Once you pick the organ, and if the knots of the sense organs are removed, then the defiling appearances disappear of themselves. You apply the method to whichever organ you select in your cultivation, until the organ, the knots, and the defiling objects are all done away with. All falseness ceases to be. Then all false thinking, thoughts based on production and extinction, all discriminations disappear. What happens then? You wonder. What do we do when all our false thoughts are gone? If that is not the truth, what do you expect in addition to it? If you are not true, then what will you have left? All that's left is the true. When the false is gone, the true is total. Get rid of your mind that sets its own conditions, and the nature of wonderful true suchness appears. The pure and fundamental mind, the original face of the nature of the treasury of the first come one. At this point in the sutra, you should be particularly attentive. You should develop your skill by working on one of the six sense organs. Which one? Anyone will do. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, or mind. You can apply your skill to any one of them. The entrance to any of the six sense organs is the way. All are a part of the nature of the treasury of the first come one. All you have to do is take one in hand and put your mind to it in your cultivation, and you can return to the basic substance. Of the nature of the treasury of the first come one, Sutra Ananda. I now ask you, can the six knots in the cloth of layered flowers be untied simultaneously and released all at once? No, won't honored one. The knots were originally made one at a time. Now they must be untied one at a time. The substance of the six knots is the same, but they were not made. Simultaneously, so now when it is time to release them, how can they be untied simultaneously? Commentary: Shakyamuni Buddha says, Ananda, I now ask you, can the six knots in the cloth of layered flowers be untied simultaneously and released all at once? This cloth from the Suryama heaven has six knots in it, as everyone can see. Can these knots be untied? All at the same time, no world honored one. Ananda replied, "Why not? The knots were originally made one at a time. They were tied in sequence. Now they must be untied one at a time. They have to be untied in sequence. The substance of the six knots is the same, but they were not made simultaneously. Although the six knots are all tied in the same cloth." 
they were not tied all at the same time. And so now, when it is time to release them, how can they be untied simultaneously? They have to be released one at a time. Sutra, the Buddha said, releasing the six sense organs is the same way. When the sense organ begins to be released, one realizes the emptiness of pupil first. When the nature of that emptiness is fully understood, then one is released from dharmas. Once one is freed from dharmas, neither kind of emptiness will arise. Commentary The Buddha said, Releasing the six sense organs is the same way. The principle is the same as the principle for untying the six knots. You release the sense organs one by one. You can't work on them all at once. When the sense organ begins to be released, that is the organ you have chosen to cultivate to perfect penetration. One realizes the emptiness of pupil first. With the emptiness of pupil, there is no attachment to self. There are no kinds of attachment to self, innate attachment to self, differentiated attachment to self. At this point, both these attachments are finished. When the nature of that emptiness is fully understood, when the emptiness of pupil is fully perfected, then one is released from dharmas, then dharmas are also empty. One is liberated from the two kinds of attachments to dharmas. Innate attachment to dharma, differentiated attachment to dharmas. Once one is freed from dharmas, neither kind of emptiness will arise. Once you attain liberation from dharmas, there is no longer any emptiness of pupil or emptiness of dharmas. Neither of these kinds of emptiness arises. Sutra, this is called the patience with non-production attained by the Bodhisattvas by means of samadhi. Commentary, the Bodhisattvas attain the power of concentration and thus can awaken to patience with the non-production of dharmas, which is the state of Bodhisattva.